All right, so the damage ain't bad. I see one dent right there where you can see. And I see one at the top up here. Right there, you can barely see it, but I got two. But I see, I don't see anything else that is alarming to me. I don't see any others. I only see two on the hood. Other than that, the roof is good. We're good. We're chilling. Good. You know, Texas is acting like it didn't just try to kill us the other day, but hey, whatever. You know. Oh, I see some other ones on the side of the car right there. Oh, that camera is bad. Oh, I see some. I see one right there on the door itself, and then I see another one. It looks like it chipped the paint. That might be rock chips though. Who knows? Yep. But cool. It ain't that bad. Alright, let me get set up and we'll get this knocked out. Should take probably about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Oh, I see another one right here. You can see the ripples on the paint. Uh, you can't see it on camera. You have to really no, you can't see it on camera. Oh well. I'll get them fixed, get it taken care of. But uh, yeah, let's get this bumper off. All right. Yeah. Don't mind the wind noise and don't mind my lip. You know, it's just one of those things when you're sitting there and you're scrolling through TikTok and uh, you drop your fucking phone on your face. Yeah, I definitely ain't the only one. <laughs> All right, let's get this uh, license plate off. Uh, I'm just gonna take it off just for the time being. Um, but what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a seven millimeter up under here and i've shown this on my last video it's right there all right and uh you're gonna need your t15 torx bit to go and remove all three of these bolts back here yeah uh, you're gonna want to pull it back and uh now down here when you go to get it off you're gonna do both sides when you go to get it off you're gonna pull right here once you get that you're gonna pull right here and then watch it simultaneously when you get this one side off you're gonna want to walk to the other side and pull it off and then you can come back and pull back, but you definitely gotta watch out because you don't wanna pull it too hard and you know stretch one side without the other being exactly the same so you can get it equally off. So let me get y'all set up and uh, we'll get this going. So I know I've showed this before, but the Torx bits are, uh, you can't really see, so I'm not gonna really film it, but there's a, like I said, seven millimeter bolt right here, T15 Torx bit all the way down here. And then once we get up top, you gotta remove these three clips, which I already have done on this side. This one's messed up, I know. Uh, I got new ones in the house. I don't know where they are, I gotta find them, but I know I have new ones, so I'll have to come replace that one, but you gotta get these out, which uh, if you use a, I had to find all my tool. I actually had to find my damn uh, tripod, but I had a, there it is, panel popping tool. This really cheap tool, it was only 10 bucks on Amazon. You literally just stick it up under and just, Pull it up, then you just go to the bottom of it and then pull it right out. I'm just setting all my stuff off to the side so I don't lose anything, don't mind my bag and all that shit. But let me get all this set up real quick, done, and then uh, I will have the back bumper basically ready to pull off. I'll do the little couple things on camera for y'all guys so y'all can see. But yeah, I'm gonna get all this done and get it uh, basically off. All right, so essentially, all the bolts, slide that out of my way, all the bolts are out, license plate off. All we're gonna do is for these, so when we're done, pick them off. Same thing with this side, set them out of the way. And now, all we really have to do is, this is the easy part, or the hard part. Uh, this part right here, we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cover, we're gonna pull it off on one side and come to the other side. They're gonna pull both sides off, and after that, I can show y'all. There's some harnesses. There's some harnesses you're gonna have to disconnect, like this one being the main. This one being the main harness right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it off with the little tab it's on, and just pull it off. I can feel it with one hand, hopefully. There we go. That's disconnected. And these are your main harness harnesses going to the back. You can pull this one off its little tab too. Oh, that one doesn't want to come off. 
Let's see if I can get it off. Okay, got it unplugged. Cool. So, of course, everything behind here is going to be really dirty. Uh, I'm not really worried about it, but you're going to pull both sides off. And now from here, all you do is get a deal. Let's get y'all set back up. All you're going to do is take it. Now all we're gonna do is take it, pull it backwards, and I set it down. Well, this we're actually gonna set down in the actual yard. We'll set something up against it just so it'll stay good. So get those off and I've got this side off too. So with that being said, bumper is just laying down flat. I've got to get that up and I'm gonna lay it there for now because we've got to get to here. All right, so scratching what I was talking about, about the LED lights. I was checking these out and these, the ones I was showing y'all, um, I don't know if I'll have it in here or not. But these right here, they, they look exactly the same, but they're just a little bit too long. So these will not fit. I'm going to have to see about getting some different ones and seeing when I can get them. But for now, let's just go ahead and we're going to continue. So we're scratching the idea of actually replacing the LED license plate lights. We're not because I was talking about I was doing the reverse lights. I'm not doing the reverse lights because I actually need the housing for those. But for these these are exact just very simple change out uh like i showed y'all with the uh interior lights stuff like that so with these all you're gonna do is take your needle nose you can do straight whatever i just did curve because that's what i found the first to begin with i'm gonna pop both of them out get away from me bug get away from me all right so with these right here all you have is these little bulbs both of them so with that being said let's go ahead and we are going to take the LED lights that I got these are the same ones I have that I showed y'all with the interior lights don't know what these guys are doing they're now just stopping in the middle of the road and now they're gonna back up what in the world are they doing okay weird so these I got off of Amazon again another Amazon special that I talked about very cheap just pull these out just give them a little pull a little tug and when you get the little tug you're just gonna go ahead and insert your new ones push them down make sure they get all the way down same thing with this one make sure it goes all the way down and when just like that you're done take them slip them back in give her a little turn clockwise that one's not fully locked in it's just a little too tight to get down in there this one's in the hole and i gotta get that one with the needle nose but take them make sure to apply pressure a little bit and give them just a little clockwise twist and just like that boom now your old ones are out new ones are in and you are done now we're ready for reassembly because like i said i'm not gonna have the reverse lights i need to get them uh i 
don't know what I was thinking. But I will order those and I will actually order the, I don't know about if I'm gonna order the LED ones for these, but we'll see. I might, I might not, we'll see. Uh, you know, just for some uh, quote unquote legal reasons. Won't talk about it, but we're gonna go ahead and we will get the bumper back on and reassembled. And yeah, so let me set y'all back up over there and y'all can see me struggle. So you just basically take the bumper, take it back. Now I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna go down. I'm trying not to scratch anything. I really don't feel like scratching. But you just wanna make sure to work. Because see how it got stuck? You just wanna make sure to work both sides. Get it in place. And this is a little too far down on this side push back up now we are sitting basically in place all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it you're gonna give it you're gonna take it you're just gonna give it a nice push and it'll push back in push give that a nice push get it all pushed in and we're gonna come over here I'll make sure to take this back up and with this just want to make sure everything is popped back in give her a nice couple of hits make sure she's popped back on we're looking good with this side this side's clipped in Make sure all your body lines. Yo, huh? Yeah, let me get this bumper reassembled. All right, and uh, just take these. Pop these back in place. Get y'all a little view of these. How we got these off? How they're gonna go back on? So. Literally just take them, push it back down and in. Just pop your little clip back on if you had it bare bones, like that one. That one's bare bones. So those two are bare. Those are the keys. Our keys, this one and this one. So, like I said, this one's all messed up. I'm not worried about it though, because I'm going to have to take the bumper back off and we'll get the rest of the lights in. Here we go. Pop that one in. That one is done. We just got three more to assemble. sure if I was completely missing it. I think I was. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so I did replace it. I couldn't remember if I did or not because I know I lost one of these a long time ago and couldn't find it. Um, Because it, you know, just fell into Narnia. But let me get this uh, bumper reassembled. Of course, I just need to get the 7 millimeter. I need to put that back on and then I need the Torx bits back in. So, let me get that set up, and then uh, I'll put it back on. I guess I'll just wrap it up before I make this too, too long. And, uh, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll see what it is and see how it actually looks. But these will be LED now and actually nice and bright. Rather than being low and dim. And just like that, we're done. Um, unfortunate turn of events. I lost a little bit of footage that I was showing. Just basically putting the bolts back on of the car and i do believe snap yeah snapping it but no i think i got it snapping back in place 
but yeah i did lose that footage um basically just watching it uh but yeah so of course you know that's unfortunate but um this video did go up late i was trying to see if i was going to get my uh coil my coil overs my uh, lowering springs in which i'm probably going to do this week maybe um front one shows getting tinted on the car this week uh what else and then i'm just trying to avoid the cold the, the cold's coming back which is gonna suck so i'm trying to get some content before then and actually you know make content for you guys <laughs> don't mind me it's monday morning i completely forgot to do an outro two weeks ago when i actually filmed this but until then i'll catch you guys in the next video you know, be safe. Everybody enjoy themselves. Just, you know, it's spring break this week. Just kick back, relax, and enjoy any little bit of thing you can. You know what I mean? Just enjoy the little things, man. Life doesn't come, you know, all rainbows. But, you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? Uh, but, yeah. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.